Hey everyone, this is Curb Knights, and I'm sure a lot of you are going to be rejoicing at the title of this video, because as you can see blatantly in front of you, uh, today I am bringing back my Maelstrom deck, and of course I will be piloting it myself. Uh, this is not quite yet updated to BT11. I'm thinking I'm going to be making a quick little deck profile uh, on Maelstrom post BT11, um, if you guys really want it. Uh, but uh, today we're just going to be playing this a little bit before BT11, just kind of the updates that I made from Festival Booster. So I'm going to be going up against Overlord. Uh, I do not really like this matchup. I do not like fighting Overlord. So I'm going to be doing everything I can to kind of end this match as quickly as possible as we do see me calling down the Wheel Assault, swing with it. Thankfully not actually hitting into the defensive. So when we swing with a Theo, it is going to be blocked by a 15k shield, which of course is a 2 or OT to pass. Uh, so we're not going to be hitting that instead we are going to be getting a nice persona ride into our hand which is going to be looking very nice for our turn four so heading back to the overlord they are of course going to be using the skill of var to counter blast one and search the deck for a grade one unit and looks like the card we're going to be searching out is not going to be a pg this time but rather a halb um uh, still a decent choice i would think uh, i'm personally not an overlord player and I have never really thought too much about the deck, but I'm sure searching out a how is perfectly fine. And it, I do know that sometimes you do just search out PGs with that skill. Um, interesting enough, it looks like we already had a how in hand. So maybe the PG would have been a little bit better there in that situation. But we'll see how it turns out. So the Vanguard is going to be swinging. Um, for those of you who know how I play Maelstrom, you do definitely do not really need any damage until you get into your grade three turn and even and then you technically don't need it because you do have things like wheel assault so you can actually do your four attacks without any cb um so i know overlord can hit like a truck and i want to be able to take those vanguard swings so i'm gonna keep myself at low damage for these first couple of turns of course just riding into my algos uh getting the storm of judgment i think is called um I, yeah, because it's in Deer Days now, and it has that name. I haven't double-checked it, but anyways, it's not a Maelstrom card anymore. Anyways, I'm going to be pulling the Wheel Assault down and actually committing a Tideline, uh, because we are two turns away from seeing that Persona Ride, and even if um, that unit gets retired, I still do have access to the Storm of the Judgment. Another reason why I really like Tideline in the deck, uh, because you can just get it back with your Storm of the Judgment. <laughs> uh, anyways, we are going to be swinging the uh, tide line it's going to be taken no temperature and then my opponent is going to be very very risky and actually guard for a one to pass unfortunately i do not actually hit it um he did guard with that grade two which i think was a kind of a huge mistake um because that's the card that puts you the overlord into your soul and because we guarded with it, I don't think we're actually... Because we, we discarded the original Overlord for uh, Ride Deck a few turns back. So the fact that we don't have access to it um, means that we're actually going to lose a drive from this first Overlord swing. Uh, but anyways, calling down the Burning Horn, not actually using its skill. Not quite sure what's going... Oh, well, oh, I do know because we obviously need a Counter Blast for uh, the end. So we want to make sure that we can actually do that. So hitting into a critical trigger off this first swing, I'm going to be taking it, getting a defensive trigger of my own, as well as a PG going to the damage zone, which is not great. But of course, my opponent did just push two damage, going to be using that the end skill to restand it. And of course, discarding the how means that we can call it out, uh, putting it behind the Vanguard, which is definitely interesting. Um, I guess we do already have a crit, so we want a little bit more pressure. Uh, this is 26 against my 20. Uh, since he only has one drive check, I'm going to guard for 15, which is going to be a OT to pass because he does only have the one drive check. So I am sitting at 20 here. Um, this Nahalem actually should be swinging for 20. Um, I'm going to be intercepting that, and looks like we're going to be forgetting that the Burning Horn does actually get an extra 5k every time the Overlord attacks, so it would have actually been able to hit, which would have cost me another 5k guard from my hand, uh, but unfortunately we did misplay a little and end our turn a little bit too early. Uh, so riding into the Maelstrom finally, checking the top 7. Um, unfortunately, for one of the few times, I don't see an Inlet Pulse, and I didn't actually see an Inlet Pulse um, within my first couple of draws. As we can see there, I don't have any in my drop zone. So things are looking a little bit rough for me, but all my early rush has kind of depleted a little a bit of the Overlord's resources, as well as pushing that to damage. I did manage to get that Tidal Assault, which is a card that I have 
learned that I'm liking much less and less, as you'll see in the deck profile. Um, but Tidal Assault is going to help me get to that grade or those four attacks. See me calling down another Tideline and then just shotgunning my Judgment Maelstrom. I guess that isn't updated on uh, deck log quite yet to call back that Wheel Assault. I think I just wanted to call the um use the order because i wanted to start giving 5k next turn but anyways this tideline is going to be swinging at the vanguard for a nice uh what's that 2018 we're going to be swinging the title assault um i thought this was a little bit of a misplay because i swung 18 and my opponent literally could have just double intercepted there but um i think they they made a little bit of a mistake there and they really should have uh we see the title assault swinging at the burning horn i don't want that because it's a really annoying attacker uh we're going to be swinging the title assault again at the burning horn of course it's going to get blocked swinging the maelstrom retiring the nihalum um because i just kind of don't want him to have um good attackers for this next turn and i'm going to be flipping over my ot so i'm going to be able to actually heal draw those two cards and of course give an extra critical to my vanguard of course the other effects are kind of wasted since maelstrom is my last attack uh but we are still able to deal those two damage pushing my opponent to four it's really looking that like um i'll be able to close things off with my persona ride next turn uh, assuming i can keep the tide line around i have a pretty good hand and i'll be able to make things <laughs> I'll, I'll be able to make maelstrom go burr basically anyways uh making a little bit of a mistake almost count calling out the grade two promo before we persona ride but of course we do remember uh this is locals we don't we don't punish people for making small mistakes but anyways we are calling the hatchet dragon using its skill to put the overlord into the soul something i think we really should have been doing last turn uh probably would have put us in a little bit of a better situation but of course we do only have three more cards left in hand uh so we're gonna be calling another iron hatchet dragon to the rear guard circle and looks like we're debating on whether we want to call that last card or if we're just going to make this a kind of vanguard centric um turn so it looks like we are going to go for the vanguard centric swing a 28 which is a very nice magic number flipping over another copy of orlor and a draw trigger so going to be giving the power to the vanguard uh probably just want to make sure we hit that like a truck um if you do remember i do have a pg in my hand but of course i do want to just check to see um what triggers he flips over on his first check i'm thinking i'll probably pg this next swing but of course we do see the halb being discarded uh, allowing it to call be called nba very nice 13k booster for that armor hatchet dragon so i am swinging at sitting at 23 so these uh other swings that are looking like they'll be pretty good um too easy to guard although this vanguard is swinging for a nice 51 with that persona ride and that extra draw chair um definitely <laughs> making this a little bit of a thinker um i could hard guard this but i figure the only way he can actually win is with a even a double critical does not uh, seal my fate but of course he doesn't even get a single um damage trigger but i do get a damage trigger which is that draw chair so that is three defensives in my damage zone he's gonna be swinging 33 at my vanguard i think he did a little bit of a miscalculation i think he forgot the um extra what's it called extra 5k from uh what's his name halb so he told me that that was a 28k swing so i guarded for 30 um unfortunate little misplay lets me keep my title assault uh but we'll see how much it impacts the rest of this game but i'm gonna be starting off with the persona ride my opponent is at four i know two of the cards in his hand are persona rides or the chalice and the overlord so it's looking like i'll be able to close things out this turn so i'm just kind of deciding how much i want to commit unfortunately that wheel assault is in a little bit of an awkward place so um i have to kind of decide where i want to go with this turn and i think i, I actually intercepted with a tie line because as you can see i have another one in my hand calling out the inlet the pulse finally getting it um into my hand from that last turn uh calling down a second inlet pulse and then i think i'm kind of deciding where I, if i want to commit the tide line and i figure he heck it might as well i'm probably going to kill this turn call over the wheel assault using the tide lines skill kind of deciding where i have two really good targets here i have the tidal assault and i also have the inlet pulse uh although i really yeah that is the correct play give it to the tidal assault because tidal assault is going to be swinging twice uh, even though I have an inlet on turn four, it actually doesn't have that skill to attack twice because it was not called on the soul. So swinging the 23 inlet pulse at the Vanguard. Uh, my opponent is going to be guarding this. Um, not a terrible play because we don't have a lot of shield value. And in those cases, um, it's a little bit risky to bank on a defensive because you do want this, uh, your one damage 
PG to our effectively your 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 PG damage to be going to the strongest attack with the title salt for 30. But we are going to be taking that title salt. Unfortunately, not hitting into a defensive trigger and this 38. Um, looks like we're not gonna be able to block, so that's gonna be the end of the game, or it would be if it were not for a six damage OT. <sighs> so as you can tell by the length of the video, this video is going to be going on for quite a bit longer. Um, anyways, the the Maelstrom, I just was deciding if I wanted to push up the Tide Line to attack the other than I remembered. Oh wait, my Vanguard can just attack into it. Um, I'm going to be attacking into the armor, uh, the Hatchet Dragon, and then of course the Maelstrom skill since we did actually achieve those four battles to retire the Halb in the back row, making his non-vanguard columns that much weaker i did actually hit into a heal trigger there uh fortunately of course it didn't go off because my opponent is at five but still going into this next turn i do have a pretty decent chance of just winning it next turn as my opponent is going to be starting off with that chalice using to activate that persona ride uh looks like we do have not the greatest cards in hand to help us basically attack uh looks like we got a grade two and we can always call down that other overlord um so we're gonna have to do as much as we uh as we can i suppose so we are called committing that overlord as well as the brachio uh Sar sarusopod or something anyways uh looks like we're probably starting off with that vanguard swing for a nice 28 uh unboosted uh i'm just going to commit the peg because i technically do die here to a double crit uh, so I kind of want to not risk that. Discarding a title assault um, drive check one is going to be a draw trigger, which is going to be giving the power to that uh, rear guard overlord. Um, and then second check is going to be a blank. So we're pretty good there. Um, we'll see. Thankfully, no criticals coming out there. So things are not going to be too difficult for me to guard. I still have plenty of cards in my hand. I did use double inlet last turn. And of course, I always have a maelstrom who is there to draw me an extra card as we do see the halb discarded and of course recalls for a booster for the overlord. So that overlord is going to be swinging at the vanguard for a very big uh, 36. Is that right? Yeah, that is actually right because we gave we didn't give the uh, extra power and we're gonna be seeing a heal trigger flipped off which i'm thinking oh that's really annoying oh and we also see me guarding with a wheel assault and pitching a um prize trident which is a mistake which i just realized right now i was actually supposed to be using my pg there um even though i did the motions and unfortunately that second check is me another heal trigger uh so my opponent just um did a six damage ot and then proceeded to double check a heal and heal down to three <sighs> so this match is going to be going on for very much longer than it needs to uh as you can still see we have like oh does that eight more minutes left in the video Jeez. uh of course i'm going to be guarding that brachio because i don't want him to retire more of my board and get a free draw and then just taking that 56 k overlord um because you know i don't want to guard that i don't want to waste the pg on that pgs are for the vanguard anyways we do see um me figuring out what i'm gonna do unfortunately i was not lucky enough to get my own persona ride um i don't have the chalice like my opponent did uh i don't have any copies so uh normally if i if my opponent was still at five i might be able to close things out but without persona ride um I don't really think there's too, too much I can do. Uh, the best I can do is chip away cards in the hand, chip away his rear guards, and maybe do a little bit of chip damage. Um, we're doing a lot of chipping this turn. Uh, but anyways, kind of just trying to decide what my best line of play here is. Um, obviously going to be using the Maelstrom skill to call out the Inlet Pulse from the soul so that we can get those multi attacks activating the judgment of storm to call back the inlet pulse that we just discarded and then giving the extra 5k kind of deciding where we want to put it and it's looking like i think i gave it to that inlet pulse um which is fine i suppose because it is 18 although um honestly i should think you should probably give it to the title assault i think i did actually give it to the title assault uh just judging by this we're gonna be swinging 13 at the vanguard um my opponent's gonna be guarding with a 10k shield um i honestly don't remember oh this is also 10k oh so i did give it to the end of the pulse and i just fucking forgot great um 
So anyways, the title assault, my opponent really sh are... Well, yeah, we gave the extra 5k to the inlet, so he couldn't intercept. So now the title assault can actually attack into that intercept and restand, attacking with the inlet pulse for the second time, using the maelstrom skill to draw a card and thinking on what to retire, retiring the overlord because it's looking like my man over here is struggling for good rear guards. So um, retiring as many as I can is going to be very good. Um, I did actually use the, the title assault skill, so I am swinging for 18. So that's going to prompt my opponent to use a pg as i drive check a pg of my own as well as that forbid it all a little too late um but you know it is still there since my opponent has actually been guarding all these attacks um there was no chance for my opponent to hit a defensive trigger there and um i decided to use the wheel assault to push up the inlet pulse that i called back from the drop zone um so uh i think that guarding every single one of those attacks was a little bit of a misplay for my opponent you really could have banked on a defensive there, and that really would have shut down my turn since I didn't Persona Ride. Uh, but, you know, uh, to each their own. Uh, because of that, he's still at 3 damage. Uh, he's no longer in heal range, thankfully, as we see him calling down a Persona Ride, and then calling down, of course, another Overlord. Swing the 28. Uh, very, very threatening. Uh, so I kind of have to... I'm in a very awkward situation here. Um, if my opponent flips over even one critical, I am totally dead here because I do not have enough guard. I have one PG, um, so my ability to actually guard all this is kind of in question. Um, I'm trying to figure out right now, uh, I'm, I, I'm trying to calculate, can I live if he flips over one critical? Because if he doesn't hit a crit on his four drive checks, then I can just take the rear guard swing no problem, right? Um, so what I'm thinking here is I two to pass this first Vanguard swing and then PG the second Vanguard swing. Hopefully he doesn't hit a critical trigger and I can just take the rear guard because um, if I two to pass here, that means I will not be able to guard the other swing. And I think I also calculate that I might as well two to pass over just like one to passing or just taking this one because um, even if I if I don't commit any guard to this Vanguard swing, I won't have enough to guard the other one if he does hit that critical. But we do see a little bit of cheeky play there, calling down the Margaret. Um, she is zero shield, but if my opponent hits a offensive trigger, she will get plus 10k of the shield. So she's basically make, helps me make it a two to pass, of course. Intercepting with the title assault to kind of make up for the extra 5k that Overlord gets from getting the base Overlord in the soul. Um, and then, of course, this swing is going to be much bigger, so I don't. Uh, it's going to be probably just met with a pg because um that requires a lot less cards as we saw the first swing i committed three cards two from hand and an intercept in order to block that attack uh so this next attack is looking to swing for 28 uh plus the eight that should be about 36 a much more uh awkward number to so i'm gonna pg here and i have it in mind if my opponent hits a trigger here or a critical trigger i just die uh but unfortunately my opponent is going to be hitting that critical trigger um I decided to discard the wheel assault because I can't guard it anyway. And of course my my opponent throws another draw trigger. So I am super dead here. Uh, my only chance is to hit a heal trigger. Um, thankfully I do have two checks that are alive for the heal trigger. Um, so I only have like 10k shield left. And this swing is going to be hitting for a very, very big number. Let's see, that's 23, 33, 43, 51. So I'm going to drive check none, nothing. And drive check two is going to be that miraculous heal trigger. So I am not going to lose here. And I am still in this game somehow. Um, I'm actually running very low on cards in deck. Oh, thanks for the nice uh, stand assist. Thankfully, I was managed, did manage to draw into that next copy of Persona Ride. I have just enough cards left in deck as we're going to be seeing here that I can use Maelstrom skill. And even with a draw trigger left in deck, I still will be able to attack with a Vanguard um, without uh, decking myself out. So I'm just kind of counting my draws right now. I have one in damage and I do actually have one in hand. And since I only play three there, it means there is one left in deck. So uh, another one of the reasons why I guarded with Florence during the last turn is because as you saw, I drew the Forbid It All in the drive check last turn. So I can always just call it back with that. Kind of just deciding what my attack pattern is. Um, ideally, I want to close the game out this turn because oh, obviously my deck can't take another turn. Um, I do have to push for three damage, but my opponent only has um, three cards in hand. 
um, as we see me call the uh, promo there, uh, the Brave Strike Shooter. I'm going to be discarding that inlet from hand in order to call a better inlet from the soul, which actually has a skill. We're going to be using the Forbid All um, to call. Even though I could call another inlet pulse, I do want more multi-attack. I'm going to be calling Margaret because she's going to be 23. And if my opponent does actually hit into a defensive trigger, she will be reaching that 33 threshold. So she can hit over a defensive much nicer than uh, inlet pulse could. So using the Tideline skill here, giving the extra 10k to the inlet pulse as well as itself and the pulse is going to be swinging twice for 33 um so i am very comfortably hitting over defensives with all of these attacks as the first inlet swings in we use the skill to counter blast one stand it and hit for 33 at the vanguard so with those three cards in hand it looks like my opponent can maybe guard one of these attacks um i think if you are the overlord player you just kind of bank on defensive unfortunately the first one is not going to be defensive uh kind of thinking about since i don't have a title assault here i don't actually have to worry about my second attack so the second attack is going to be going to that inlet pulse once again another 33 my opponent's gonna have to bank on defensive but it's not going to be there meaning that this florence is probably going to be able to clear things up but even if this florence doesn't clean things up i still do have four more attacks after the florence i have managed to achieve the miraculous um how many attacks is that one two three four five six attack turn uh swing with the maelstrom retiring the overlord I do not want any more surprises even if my opponent gets a heal trigger here i should have enough attacks on board to actually kill him past a heal trigger but i'm going to flipping over draw trigger thankfully i counted the cards in my deck so i'm not actually going to die i'm going to go down to one card left in deck and of course deal that last damage which is not going to be a heal trigger thankfully so that at long last is the end of the match i hope you guys enjoyed um i hope you guys love that i'm playing maelstrom again um and don't forget to do all these youtube things like comment, subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one